Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another episode, playoff special. This time, we're taking on the West Division. Um, it's going to be a fantastic show. Brandon Cassidy alongside Thomas West. Let's get into it. The following is a presentation of the Fan Media Network. Yes, looking forward to getting in this into this one once again. Vegas, Minnesota. We're going to have some hot takes on that. I already know in Colorado, <laughs> St. Louis as well. It's going to be well, I mean, it was a it was the amazing season. Colorado Presidential Trophy winner. Let's be honest, fully deserved. But what a season for these guys. Yeah, I mean, that trophy was fully deserved. I, look at their team. If you <laughs> just go on Google and it search up their team, the the names, you know, it's like some teams you see, it's like the first two names. It's like, oh, yeah, those guys are pretty good. You look at Colorado, it's like, ding, 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 ding. Oh, <laughs> and that's just uh, they, they have the best team in the league. I think they should be Stanley Cup contenders for sure. Speaking with professional goaltender Taylor Dupree earlier on in, in our uh, in our shows, uh, if you haven't seen it, do check it out. It'll be listed up there in the top hand corner. Uh, that being said, Taylor actually talked about Grubauer and how amazing a season he had. So do go and check out that show. Taylor plays uh, for professional teams over in France, uh, and we wish him all the best of luck in his summer and off season. Uh, that being said, before we move on to any further uh, debates between these four teams, do check out our Instagram story with our final touch puck chillers. These will keep your beverage nice and chilly without watering down the good and fancy stuff. Uh, that being said, Thomas, uh, let's start out here. These matchups, yeah, we kind of saw it coming, but I got to be honest, I'd be excited for this the next, not not the the, the quarterfinals, but the, the semifinals. That's going to be where the money's at. But let's talk about Colorado-St. Louis. This is going to be a great matchup for Colorado. Yeah, for Colorado. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, it's just, it's St. Louis, they're still riding that same team that, you know, won the Stanley Cup just a couple of years ago. Uh, Jordan Bennington still doing his thing between the pipes. He's always been, you know, an okay goalie for them. He's never really stole the show. Uh, Philip Grubauer on the other side, they win that battle for sure. He's been the, the better goalie this year. There's just no area of either like of these teams' games where I don't see Colorado having a, a pretty big edge. I mean. This is the team that Colorado wanted to play in the first round. They, they should be able to, to breeze by this team. You know, you got Rantanen and McKinnon, you know, unbelievable hockey players. Some of the, the best in the entire league. Kale McCarr, who, you know, we got a chance to see him play for Team Canada at the World Juniors. Uh, that was uh, fun. And he carried over that good play for seasons to come. And he's one of the top defensemen. He's a, a massive guy for the the Colorado Avalanche, not to mention a whole bunch of other names. Nazem Kadri, uh, he comes to mind as well. Fantastic career he's had since he's you know left Canada and he's playing there. We haven't heard about him much, but he's still doing <laughs> it down there in Colorado. Uh, St. Louis, they still have their guys, like I said, from, from the, the Stanley Cup. David Perron's still there. Ryan O'Reilly's still there. Mike Hoffman's a guy who's uh, actually been really good lately. He had a horrible start to the season. But he's come back, so he's going to need to be there for the St. Louis if they want him a chance in this series for sure. Yeah, it's definitely one of the situations, especially with Colorado. Good players make other good players great. So if you keep on with that trend, talk about an amazing team. And St. Louis, like you said, it's the same old, same old. So this is a very similar St. Louis team. Will they be able to keep up with Colorado? Has yet to be seen. Uh, moving on, we'll move into Minnesota, Las Vegas. Now, this is where you and I differ, good sir. This is where we meet head to head. I think Vegas is gonna is gonna absolutely trounce this. But let's get into the team versus team. Uh, Minnesota key players. Who do you got? Uh, well, for Minnesota, there's a really really big X factor on this team, and it's the guy who at the beginning of the year said Kirill who Kirill who, and now it's. Kirill Kaprizov has been one of the best players in the National Hockey League this year. He's going he's gonna to win Rookie of the Year. I think that's uh, pretty much a given at this point. The bag, yeah. It's just a matter of whether he can continue that into the playoffs. Can he continue to be Kirill the Thrill when the, the season is at its highest stakes? Uh, I personally think there's really no flaws in his game. That guy is an elite scorer. 
Uh, Marcus Felino is another guy who I'm really going to look at. Hard hitting guy, uh, not going to put the puck in the back of the net, you know, every single game. But, you know, he's a grinder. He'll definitely help out, create a little bit of space there for Kirill. Uh, in the, the goaltending battle, that that this is probably going to be the biggest problem because they're going up against Marco Mark on Jake Floyd on the other side. Mm. Cam Talbot, it's been Cam Talbot. Uh, he's going to have to be the guy, I think, in this series. Uh, you know, the most veteran guy on that team. Kakinen, uh, he's not been good lately. He's really, really not been good lately. So Talbot's got to step up for sure. Yeah, Cap's really been uh, struggling of late. So I would totally agree with you that uh, Talbot's got to pick up that slack and he's got to carry the rest. I think that he's got to he's got to take the rest of this, uh, at least in this playoff series, he's going to have to really make that big oomph of a difference. Uh, taking on the likes of Fleury and Lanner, let's be honest, this is going to be a very difficult series for Vegas to hand over. Uh, because of the fact that they've got Lehner and, and Flurry backing them up in, the, in between the pipes. This is going to be a, a very good series uh, in that regard. Uh, talking about uh, goalies, though, the key players for Vegas, let's be honest, Vegas has a solid team up front. Not, not the greatest. Like, they don't have hugely great scorers, but they have enough up front that they could put the puck in the net and keep winning games. Yeah, I mean, Mark Stone comes, comes to mind when you talk about good scores on that team he can he can put the puck in the back of the net he's been fantastic this year uh ever since coming out over across from ottawa he has been a star player uh in that division i i'm not highlighting the goaltending because it's leonard and flurry i mean if one is bad you're fine you you know if 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 Fleury's not not the best this series leonard can pick up the slack so i just i don't think that's a really a key area it's obviously important to their success but i think it's a key area uh chandler stevenson is a guy i i would like to highlight though because uh i think he's one of the more underrated you know not a top line guy he'll probably be a third line center in this series but uh the battles some of the most important battles are not won on the top lines because we know what's going to happen on the top lines i wouldn't be surprised to see chandler steven step up chandler stevenson step up and you know have a couple good games uh, looking at the defensive side of things, Shea Theodore, he's a shutdown guy for Vegas. What a nice pickup for them. They got off the expansion draft, and he can score, too. He'll quarterback the power play. Yeah, quarterbacking the power play, indeed. And, I mean, this is one of those, uh, this is, again, one of those teams where they have the whole team. It's not, it, it's kind of like Colorado. They've got the whole team. It's not just forwards like Edmonton. It's not just uh, defense. It, it's the whole package. And I think that that's what's going to make this series. Uh, it'll be it'll be tough. I'm not handing this to Vegas in, in four by any any stretch. This is going to be a hard fought series because I think Minnesota is really going to step things up here and, and really give them a, a good run for their money. Talking about specialty teams, though, uh, going back to Colorado St. Louis for a second here, Colorado coming in with 22 point uh, seven percent on the power play whereas st louis has 23.2 this is a very even matchup between these two teams so specialty teams on the power play not going to make that big a difference on the other hand though pk colorado's got an 83 percent whereas st louis has 77 like there's a bit of a gap developing there where colorado i think takes the edge there yeah neither of those numbers are particularly good um but I think it also just kind of speaks to where the priorities lie with these teams, right? They're offensive teams. They win yep. games by putting the puck in the back of the net. Um, they're not, you know, going for any kind of a defensive strategy. It's going to be score, 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 which is why I'm really looking forward to watching this series. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, the specialty teams obviously will be important, but those numbers are low just because of the priorities. Speaking of low, you want to talk about low, check out the, the power play numbers for Vegas and Minnesota, both sitting at 17, 170.8, that's Vegas and 17.6, that's Minnesota. Let's be honest, not a great season for, for power play on special teams for either team. Uh, PK, once again, Vegas taking a slight edge with 86.8 and Minnesota sitting at 80.8. I mean, these are two very uh, similar minded teams once again. Uh, as you were mentioning, between Colorado and St. Louis Thomas. Yeah, both of these teams play better five on five, that's for sure. 17% uh, is, is a low number for a playoff team. Uh, 
which I get that because Vegas was, you know, literally zero points away from winning the, the President's Trophy this year. So that is a bit surprising. But again, th this is going to be uh, the most scoring this series is going to be five on five. That's where it's going to be determined. I was just going to say that really surprised me about Vegas being like essentially, quote unquote, the number two uh, spot. I say number two because I think it was a real close race to the very end there between uh, Vegas and Colorado. But this is definitely one of those teams where you'd think with their offensive prowess, they could put the puck in the back of the net for their, their power play. But uh, uh, obviously fate had decided differently. All right, Thomas, let's talk about picks here. Who do you got between uh, Colorado and St. Louis? Yeah, so I obviously have Colorado. I think pretty much everyone has that. <laughs> Colorado's odds to win the Stanley Cup, I was, I was reading an article in The Athletic the other day, they're at 38% chance to win the Stanley Cup. The next best team is Toronto at 19. That's an, that's an incredible number. Colorado really has a, a good shot at this, at this thing. If they don't make the Stanley Cup Finals, there's going to be a lot of disappointments up in the in the mountains there. So uh, I think Colorado, and I'm, I think this is a sweep. There, there's going to be a sweep for sure in the first round, and uh, this is where it's going to be. I completely agree. I mean, up in the mountains, what a pun. That was, that was very sneaky. I like that. Uh, but uh, I totally agree. I think Colorado is going to sweep this four games tonight. I don't think it's going to be, you know, blowout games. I think that, you know, St. Louis will play a, a solid um, game against them. But I, I think that Colorado will take them uh, the one goal games. Uh, now, between Vegas and Minnesota, I I'd love to hear your predictions here because I, I have a feeling we're going to be a little different. Yeah, so being in Canada, I've actually weirdly watched a lot of Vegas Golden Knights games and a lot of Minnesota Wild games. And uh, I might be just going a little bit on impulse on what I've seen, but I think that I think that Minnesota likes this matchup. There's a, there's a lot of articles out there about, you know, I think that Minnesota thinks that they caught a break by not having to face Colorado, I'll say that. Colorado, I think they won their last game of this season, 5-1. That secured the President's Trophy, and it meant that uh, that Minnesota got to play against Vegas. I think this game goes seven, uh, I think the series goes seven games, and I'm going to take the Minnesota Wilds taking out the Vegas Golden Knights here in the first round. Yeah, see, that I, I agree with you. I think it'll go very deep. I don't think this is going to be a very shallow season. Um, uh, matchup between these two teams, but I actually have Vegas taking it in seven games. Um, I'm going to say in overtime. I don't think uh, Minnesota is going to hand this to them on a platter at all. I think this is going to be a very hard fought battle, uh, but I would love personally to see a Colorado Vegas uh, semifinal. That said, uh, that's it for the uh, Western Division. We'll be sure to keep you guys up to date on all the, all the playoffs. Uh, for Thomas West, I'm Brandon Cassidy. We'll see you guys in the next playoff special. To host a fan show or appear as a fan on a fan show, simply create a profile on Fan Media's iOS app or website. Select your teams and make a short intro video on your phone. Show hosts, reporters, former players, and superfans can use our Get Verified feature and make an intro video as well. And our mobile newsroom staff will reach out.